United Arab Emirates legalizes premarital sex. Everyone drop trow. It's legal now. <laughs> <laughs> um, on November 25th, the United Arab Emirates, or UAE, announced the arrival of a new criminal code effective January 2022. Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed uh, al Nahyan, the president of the UAE, approved a wide ranging uh, selection of legal reforms in what is called the largest legislative reform in UAE's history. The announcement included huge changes towards laws on premarital relationships. According to the Emirates news agency, the federal crime and punishment law changes will decriminalize consensual relationships out of wedlock. However, any child conceived due to the relationship needs to be acknowledged and cared for by any parent. The new changes will require the couple who has the child outside of marriage to either get married or acknowledge the child as theirs. Failure from both parties to do so and provide the necessary documentation will result in a criminal case. The reforms also impose harsher sentences for sexual assault crimes, decriminalize alcohol consumption, and end the leniency towards honor killings. Well, let's not clap. No, 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 no. Okay, we can, um, because if we clap, it seems like we are clapping for the people in charge of making these, these decisions, okay? The people who are in charge of making these decisions Armin. are horrible, evil people. I'm clapping Literally. for sex. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, okay yes let's clap for sex okay Hi, <laughs> that's good <laughs> okay I agree. okay okay therefore like, yeah okay if we're clapping for sex i'm on board with that okay um but we have to be careful not to congratulate the authorities at the uae okay these are evil evil people okay even these are people who kidnap their own daughters okay <laughs> right literally okay um i'm not even joking this is like I, I think i think people know what i'm referring to right um but yeah <laughs> we can always clap for sex yeah true 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 this is them this is your uae competing with saudi arabia into competing for more tourism and competition like uae and saudi arabia are slowly um turning on each other a bit uh, and especially on this thing uh because oil money is going to dry up at some point um and they need to modernize really quickly to bring up encourage more investments and tourism into these places uh, they need to find alternative ways of um you know making money and this is a move in that direction this is a move out of this like we can still be happy for the people who are going to be affected by this, right? I'm not saying we shouldn't be happy about it, but we have to also understand that this is a move out of desperation, not out of people's kindness or you know their good them realizing that oh we were, our ways are wrong, we are not good people. Now. This has nothing to do with that. Okay, these are evil monsters. Okay, and in fact, I don't, I do not want, I do, I encourage you not to give these people the, your tourism money. Okay um if you want to give people your tourism money go to like uh, poorer countries uh, and countries that are like go to uh, i don't know like actually i don't know i don't want to make any recommendations and then people get into you know disease or anything anyway look at other places don't give your don't and also shame the celebrities um who are going on tours in saudi arabia or the uae as a way for these people to cover up their human rights violations let me remind you guys okay so this uae and saudi arabia are responsible for the death of hundreds of thousands of people in yemen okay like these are people who are have completed mass general continue continue to wage war on civilians in yemen and use starvation and holding up medicine um to, to civilians, to children in Yemen as a weapon of war, okay? So these are the same people, okay? So again, you could be happy for people who are not going to be punished for something that is not immoral in UAE. That's a good thing, okay? You know, just similar that you could be happy for women being able to drive in Saudi Arabia. You could be happy for them, but do not congratulate MBZ or MBS, Mohammed bin Salman or Mohammed bin uh, Ibn, um, Zayed, right? None of these, none of these people 
deserve your congratulations, okay? Just the people, just the people who are being affected by it. Don't let them whitewash their human rights violations. That's what I'm saying with these kind of moves. I agree. I do welcome them um, ending the leniency on the books towards honor killings, though. That's freaking awesome. And because yeah. um, they went, they did a series of reforms earlier, and that was kind of a little bit of a sketchy point of it. No, so like, let me address this. Like, you're for saying good change is good change. Nobody cares about the intentions. You should care about the intentions, okay? Because if you don't understand the intentions, it matter a lot. Good change is good change. You could ask, you could celebrate the good change. The in, the intentions are one of the most important part of the equation that you have to take into account. You're an idiot if you don't take the intention into account, okay? Because if you don't understand the intentions of the agents behind the change, you, first of all, you're not going to be able to motivate to do more of it, and you're not going to be able to pay attention to other harm that is being done by the same actors that this is supposed to be a cover up. Okay, like how could you how could you not care about the intentions? The intentions is one of the most important part of the equation. Like your your understanding of how things are, why things are happening, and in what directions are they moving, and how you could get more of it. It's going to be completely flawed and basics if you don't analyze the intentions. How, like, how could you even say that? How could you even suggest that? Your, your, your understanding of the world is going to be completely misguided if you don't analyze the intentions. And, and again, one thing else you're not going to, like, the change, the change is a good change. Well, maybe if you did care about the intentions, then you would see that there are, that on average, things are changing for the worse, right? Like, for example, if you look at in Saudi Arabia, right? If you look at women being able to drive, women, people are going are able to go to the theater, okay? Like, oh, this is a, change, is a good change. Well, who cares about the intention? Well, maybe if you change, ch take, paid attention to the intentions, then you will see that actually things in Saudi Arabia were getting worse. And uh, there are more human rights violations. There are more people that are be being put to jail or disappearing or tortured or killed because of their oppositions to the authorities and this was the intentions was to cover up for that and then you would say that the people who are responsible for uh women women being able to drive um are are the people who are internationally they're trying to create an image of them being progressive and reforming whereas committing the worst human rights violations of our lifetime against civilians in yemen you can see that this is a way of whitewashing it because people care about people pay attention more to women being able to drive people going to the theater for the first time people being able to have sex without getting punished for that gets more media attention than children starving to death because you're not letting them get food in the in the hundreds of thousands that doesn't get enough media attention because it's bo it's boring relative to people to being able to have sex okay that this is like more sexy like literally more sexy for news wise okay so when you realize, then, then you see how important the intentions are. Again, I'm not saying you can't celebrate that, okay? Just put it in context. I, I'm not saying that this is not a good thing. You know, the fact that overall things are getting worse, that doesn't mean that you cannot celebrate this one good thing. You can celebrate it, but also look at it, what the context of the situation, why this is happening. Um. One other yeah. thing that I thought was interesting was indecent insult, indecent assault, regardless of the victim's gender, will be recognized under the updated, um, under these updated reforms, which I think is awesome because oftentimes in many countries, male rape or assault on men isn't actually acknowledged or thought of as a thing. So that was something I was really supportive of. Yeah, yeah. Same, same. Anyways, great. Um, yeah, good. People should have guys go have sex as much as you can before you die. Oh wait, this was a good message message from Siwa. Yeah. We congratulate sex legis legislation, not the people who made it legal. Legalize no. But remember, it. everyone no, be you safe. Read it wrong. Ha you read what? it wrong. We congratulate sex. Oh, you're right. Legalization, not the people who made it legal. But remember, everyone be safe. Hashtag safe sex. Yes, that's true. Definitely have yeah. safe have safe sex. You know, it was funny. I sent this news to um, someone who, well, I hope I can consider them a friend of mine. I don't know. We're getting to know each other. Anyways, he spent a por portion of his life in, in the Emirates and I sent it to him and he's like, don't believe this. You know, it was always legal as long as you say Bishmulah beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> is, is he an, an ex-Shia? Because that's true with like... Uh, 
No, just, uh, no, I'm probably not. Yeah. Okay. That made me laugh. That's funny. All right. We are <laughs> heading towards the last news, right? <laughs> yes, last news. No, actually, the reason why I'm saying that is because in Shia, this is one thing that Sunnis make um, have a huge problem with Shias because we have like temporary marriage in Shia Islam and you literally just have to read like a verse or something before you could have sex. Uh, and basically Sunnis make fun of Shias being like, you just basically you guys have, you have Islamized prostitution. That's what the Sunnis accuse Shias of. I mean, like, it is though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, basically, you have like in Shia Islam, you have literally like, I'm going to marry you for two hours or like five minutes in some cases um, in exchange of this amount of money. Okay. And that's, and we read a Quranic verse, I forgot which one, and then it's now Islamic, right? Um, and people in Sunnis are like, wow, this is Islamic prostitution, basically. So, Anyways, not not that not that we have an issue with sex work, okay? Me and Susanna support um, sex work very much. Um, however, they have an issue with it, and they they call she as hypocrites because they are against sex work while having an Islamic version of it. Anyways, um, man, yeah. so many you could you could rack up a lot of marriages that way. <laughs> I can't even read this one. <laughs> Katie's saying, "Bishmillah, now hit me, daddy." <laughs> <laughs> do you like when i do the voices yes yes that's why you should read everything hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.